Yes, yes, I understand. I know. I completely get it. Yeah. Yes, I understand. Look, I gotta make a video. Yeah, I gotta go. Okay. Okay. I promise the next episode will be out soon, so shut up and I gotta go. Alright. Bye. Jeez. Some people. I mean... Oh. Hi there. Um. I wasn't expecting you to be here so soon. So, you might be wondering, you know, one little question. <laughs> or not. Probably not. Now that I think about it, you're not. Um, where is Magical Modern Survival Episode 2? Huh? Huh? Where is it? Oh my god, oh my god. Anyways, um, well, I made a mistake. I made a very, very big mistake of making two houses I really, really like. Uh, and, and I can't use them both. Sadly. So, I mean, I want to use one for a series I'm coming up with soon called... Oh, wait. Uh, somebody's calling me. Yes? Oh, not allowed to tell? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I won't tell. So, yeah. Um, the season's name is None Your Business. And I want to know which house I should use for Magical Modded Survival. So, I'm going to take you through a tour of both of the houses and kind of show you what's what I've done. Both of them have been completed for this video, mostly because I can't wait to complete both the houses. And they'll probably stay completed just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like rebuilding them all over in survival. Just know that one of them was built in creative and the other one was half built in survival. Alright? Alright. And you never will know the difference. But yeah, so let's get on to house one and make sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, one or house one to vote for house one being the house and two or house two for the second house being the one i use for magical modded survival which one i don't use is used in a special series that will only have 15 episodes because i'm boring so yeah welcome to the first house this is house one or comment one or house one for this house and uh here we are i'm gonna give you a tour now this is actually the house i was originally planning to build in episode one. I moved locations, and I did that in an episode that was supposedly episode two, but, um, it's not. Newsflash. It's, it's not episode two. It's never coming out because everything I did in it was complete trash. But let's get onto the house. So this is it from the outside. As you can tell, those clouds don't look nice, so we should probably get inside. But, um, first, this is the house. It's pretty big. It's a really big house, but, you know, we're going to be doing a lot. Um, this is a little horse stable, because I really wanted to get some house or not houses, horses in it. Uh, I won't need a lot of extra buildings, maybe just like a storage place, but I still think I have plenty of storage in this. And as you can see, there's quite quite a bit of room. Let's go through the front doors and uh, get in here, because I think it's going to start raining soon. This is room one. It's very small. This is room two. It's slightly bigger. Uh, one of these rooms are going to be probably an enchanting room, and these, the, the other one is probably going to be for chests. And as you can see, it's quite a big place. I already have all my stuff for the series in here. Oh, I'm still in creative. Wow. Uh, this is awkward. Um, y you still don't know which one was built half in survival. So this is going to probably be the bedroom, as you can see. It's right there. And then more areas, more areas. This is in, you know... Uh, this isn't a house tour, this is more of a just... Yeah, actually, this is a house tour. Wow, that was stupid of me to say. As you can see, there's plenty of windows just to get natural light, because you don't have any lights on the ceiling. I didn't want to use glowstone. Where's the ladder? Should I not put the ladder? Anyways, so since I'm in uh, creative, I'm just going to show you. Uh, I I'll probably have to make a ladder in this series, but once I do, this place could be a huge place for storage. It's a huge attic. A chodge one, just chodge. Um, so let's cover that back up. And so yeah, this is a house. Uh, as you can see, it's a very, very nice house. I tried 
very hard. I even made like blueprints for it. Um, it's very nice. It's very, very cute. Uh, very like non-modern, but like a huge mansion, like a wooden mansion. I, what's the word I'm looking for? Cabin mansion, I guess. This is how you can tell we change locations is because there is this huge, beautiful lake right here, and I love it so much. But the other place does have its pros and cons too. So just remind you, just to remind you, this place is nice. It has the little forest around it. There's, and I'm going to make a barn in this series that will probably be over here if we pick this area. As you can see, very pretty. There's even some water sources. We can build a little pathway. The only problem is, you know, um, the trees are pretty huge. So if I do need to take any of them down, it's going to take me one forever. And two, this area is very boxed off. And you might not like it. You might not like it compared to the second one. So whichever one you feel is best. Plus, we won't be building a lot more structures in this, which will really be fun, I think. But yeah, it's a pretty big house. It looks nice to me. And uh, there's a big area. Nice. Anyways, so yeah, this is house one. Let's go into house two. All right, so um, here we are at the second house. You can't see it yet because I'm super proud of this one and it's so modern and so cute. I find it adorable. But this one would probably my go be my go-to one if I did have my second series because my second series would definitely go with this house, but I also could use it in Magical Modded Survival. Newsflash, it is quite small. And also, this is the cutest pun ever, but I guess you'll see that in a second. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm in creative here too. Uh, still don't know which one I built in survival still. Uh, my stuff is not yet in here. I thought I put it in, but obviously I haven't yet. So if you pick this one, I'll do that. This is what we're trading out for the big lake. It is a cute small pond. I love this. Okay, this is the cutest of small ponds. And it has like the tree, and I swear to you guys, I did not redo anything. This tree and this lake was already there, and it's adorable. Um, but no, as you can see, there's plenty of biomes around. There's so many biomes around, which is a really big plus because, you know, we can go exploring anywhere, anytime. And this is a house. It is so freaking adorable. As you can tell, it's quite smaller, and there's still a whole lot of natural light. It's it's much better designed to me, and it's super cute with the water. I find that just adorable. Uh, plus there's this little seat, which I'm probably not going to be taking out just because, uh, it's freaking adorable! But yeah, so let's get an inside tour. Uh, as you can see, there's no door because if I do uh, have this one, I'm just going to build the door when I'm on because it won't be that hard. This is probably a very noticeable area. It's going to be a kitchen. It, it's going to be a kitchen. That's all you need to know. Kitchen, dining room, maybe some storage. This area out here is probably going to be a lot more for open things that we have. Um, I feel like I'm giving a house tour. Then there's this amazing spiral staircase with water in the middle. This is going to be a big storage place, or it could be something that we have here or another room. I can always mess around with it. The 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 the, the, the minus to this house is uh, there is no attic. That's the roof. I really don't want to mess with it because it took me four freaking ever. Um, here's the bedroom. It's it's quite a large bedroom. I like it. We can put some storage in here as well. Um, and there's a nice view. I like the views of this house. Uh, but as you can see, it's kind of a small house. It definitely is, but that's the fun of it because we can always build around it. It's, it's a pretty nice biome and there's lots of flat areas if we need to build anything. This, uh, which I really had to modify because the lake was too big. Too big. Um, this would be where the farm was. It's not far. It's really not. It's, it's a cute little walk, and then you can get to the farm. Um, and there's a snow biome over here. I don't know what we would use there. Maybe if we got a penguin or something. You know. This would probably be a very nice area. I can always still do some architecture, because this doesn't look right when it's so little. It used to go all the way around. It was just like, that's a waste of space. But, yeah, and then there's a ravine right next door to it, which is actually a really big plus because it has ores and stuff that we can mine. I don't want to get an inside look there, though. But yeah, so with this one, there's a lot of pros and cons as well. The pros are that it's it's a nice design, it's super cute, and there's a huge area for a farm. Not that far of a walk, but there's a ravine next door, and it's the prettiest biome on this planet. There's biomes next door. The cons are that it's very small, so we'll have to build extra things, but you know. 
not much room. Um, we don't have a huge lake, which would be awesome for building boats and stuff. Uh, and, you know, it's it's not a lot of room. And just really, it's, qu it's quite small, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, it would also mean that everything in the first episode is trashed. And, yeah, I mean, there are some other cons, but I'm not thinking of them right now. Uh, I, I guess one con would be that if I had to do the second episode really soon, we might not have all the stuff in there yet. Um, I mean, it, it just all depends your interpretation. Remember to comment one or two. I might just end the video uh, on this house because I'm quite lazy and I still have to edit an entire Minnesota vlog, which is gonna take forever. It's, it's gonna take forever. But yeah, I hope you guys like these houses. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Hello. I see you're still here. Um, but I hope you guys like these houses. I hope you guys comment. Uh, it really doesn't take much. It just takes, you know, pressing on that comment button, pressing number one, and pressing enter. And I know you guys can do it, and I know you guys would love to help me out on this one. I can really use your help. I can't decide. I can't decide. I'm, I gotta cry. Um, wow, that was, that was something. But... Yeah, it's all up to you guys. I really can't choose. So even if I get one comment, it will really help me, guys. So make sure to leave those comments down below. The one that wins, hopefully it's not a tie. Uh, the one that wins, wins, and the other one will be put to good use. No worries. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in uh, Magical Mo Modded Survival Episode 2. Uh, goodbye!